We want to update you right now what's happening at 95 and Eastern and we can give you a fuller picture of what we're seeing right there. That is a bridge collapse there on the section of road that's being worked on and uh, this is already part of a construction project ongoing and at one point they had to close lanes on the 95 but uh, it is the traffic is moving ever so slowly but there was a bridge collapse one person's in the hospital. We're going to uh, get more information from Justin Hopkins from NDOT coming up here in just a few moments. Justin, if you're, on, I'm told you're on the phone right now. Can you hear me all right? I can, yes. Justin, thanks for joining us. And, and tell us a little bit more about this bridge collapse. Was this part of a, the, the 95 that was already being worked on? Yeah, that's correct. And so right now, we're aware that one NDOT employee is being treated for injuries. I don't have a lot of details yet as to the extent of those injuries. We're working to get those updates in real time. And we've got NDOT crews on the way there. Uh, as you probably know, crews have been demolishing that southbound section of the Eastern Avenue overpass as part of our I-515 US-95 viaduct replacement. And so uh, that section of the bridge was closed, as was Eastern Avenue below. So no traffic impact at this time, uh, but we are, like I said, working to get more updates on that employee that was hurt. Any initial uh, suspicions on how the bridge collapsed, why it collapsed? I just don't know yet. I'm sorry, I don't have that information yet. And we, we talked about lane closures at one point. We're taking a live look right now. Traffic is moving in both directions, albeit slowly. At one point, were some of those lanes closed off at, in the initial uh, aftermath of the collapse? Uh, I'm not aware of any additional lane closures that were necessary because the lanes were already closed. So all of the traffic was being diverted as work was being done already. Okay, and do you anticipate any closures as they, you know, repair this collapse? It's hard to say at this point because this is all so new. We have to get in there and really get a look at what damage was done. And Justin, looking at that picture uh, live on our screen, we can see that big chunk of the freeway missing there and those cars going by on the side. Are those cars safe? Are those lanes stable with that large section of the freeway missing there? Yeah, everything should be entirely safe. Uh, what you can't tell right now is that most of that was already gone. Uh, we've been doing this work. That section of the road has been closed since Monday morning. And so they've been demolishing that bridge for several days now. Uh, Justin Hopkins with NDOT will certainly uh, keep our viewers up to date here on what's happening out there with this live look. But we thank you so much for filling us in on what's, what went on down there. And, and tell us, what time did this all transpire? Uh, this is all uh, just coming in about uh, in the last hour. Okay. Justin, again, thank you for, for joining us this afternoon.